first attack of the war coming in from Chicken Tika from Bash using Zap Dragons. Slapping at one of the sweepers and the bow right next to it. Baby Dragon at 6 o'clock to destroy the air the archer tower. More zaps onto the queen and air defense. Another baby dragon on the army camp to funnel the dragons into the multi inferno. Dragons going in to the multi inferno with a hound. Equipments, base equipment, the eternal foam and the life gem. Same with the queen and barbarian king all running default equipment. Heroes coming in on 7 o'clock to help funnel the dragons inside the base. The bow goes down, the Barbarian King goes to ability. Air defense working away at the dragons. Eternal Tome activates protecting the dragons in the core of the base. Black Air Mine comes out, takes out one of the dragons. Ego Artillery going down. Another black air mine pops up, stopping another dragon. Dragons being at 1 HP. A rage has been used next to the multi inferno to quickly take out the multi inferno. Dragons target the bow in the core of the base. Four dragons remaining, two balloons, one archer tower. A triple coming in from Chicken Tika as the opening attack of the war. Red Next attack coming in from Name Noxus with Queen Charge Lalo. Equipments are all base equipments. Archers and minions on the outside of the base, taking out three. Bash buildings. Queen coming in at 3 o'clock. Super Wallbreaker breaks into the compartment. Another Wallbreaker breaks in. Possibly for the King to go into that compartment. Offensive King engages the Offensive Queen in the attack. Barbarian King gets placed down and is funneled into the air defense. Defensive Queen gets killed by the Offensive Queen. A Kokoloon goes down. It spots a Seeking Air Mine. Another Whopper breaks into the base, further into the core. The King does take down the air defense, and Queen keeps marching through. With the space having two single Inferno Towers. He decides to queen charge the base. Another rage has been used to speed up the queen charge process. Inside the hound comes out. Inside the CC comes out a hound and a balloon. The lol starts in at 12 o'clock. The hound gets popped. The Hound gets melted by the single Inferno Tower. Sweepers pushes back the balloons as it struggles to take out the Inferno Tower. Warden goes to ability, Queen goes into the core taking out the Eagle Artillery. Now taking out the Sweepers has, has been causing trouble the entire attack. More spells has been used. Tornado traps, red air bombs has been found. A lot of balloons are going down quickly. Four balloons left, a freeze has been used, Expo. Staying alive while the Archer Tower goes down. The Expo will ultimately go down. However, no balloons are remaining. One haste is still available. He has two loon balloons in reserves for whatever is needed. 
However, this will not go through for a triple. This will be a two star. Coming in at 80. Oh no. 87? 87? For 87, 88% for name. Next attack coming in from Chicken Tika. With another Zap Dragon. Zapping out the Multi Inferno and the Expo next to it. Skeleton spell has been dropped for the tanking of the Ice Golem and Queen. Three zaps remaining, possibly for another air defense. Dragon coming in at 12 o'clock. Eagle act artillery activates. DC comes out. Out comes a witch and a dragon. The king not yet used in the attack. Tornado trap has been found by the dragons in the core of the base. Queen walks into the core of the base with the dragons. Perfect Warden Tome protects the dragons from the Maltai, Inferno, and the Eagle Artillery strikes. A heal spell used in the core of the base. You heal the dragons from the Maltai Inferno. The last air defense has been zapped out. However, not hitting the Queen. The dragons engages the defensive hero, stuck on the Barbarian King at the moment. As the Queen picks out the dragons one by one, three dragons has been killed by the Queen alone. The one dragon in the core of the base remains. The eagle artillery will not go down. The last dragon in the core of the base will die from the archer tower. The remaining dragons now working onto the trash of the base. The barbarian king breaks into that compartment. The last air defense is not secured. The barbarian king will go down, one dragon remaining. Archer Queen still alive, no ability. Warden still alive, no ability, low HP. Last air defense does go down, however, the cannon attacking the Queen will kill the Queen. The Warden also will go down. Two star from Chicken Tika. Oh, my scoreboard's not working. Oh no. Why are you not working? What? I'm just gonna enter it manually, I guess. Next attack from Name going into Chicken Tika with Zap Lalo Zapping out the Core Sweeper and Expo Heavily weakening the Eagle Artillery to 1 HP Kane gets placed down with the target of the air defense next to the Wooden Queen with an Ice Golem for tanking goes in for that multi inferno King will go into that compartment. Ability will get popped. Air defense does go down. TC get lured out. A bunch of archers came out of the CC. More archers coming out of the CC. And a dragon. Poison still on standby. Not yet used. Easy defense, says Lord Amper. Lalo starts in at 12 o'clock. The dragon targets a Grand Warden. Grand Warden will go to ability early into the attack. A freeze has been used onto the defensive queen with a skelly spell. Grand Warden goes down. The defensive queen will also go down. However, the core of the base brings up a bunch of red air bombs and the tornado. The core, the core, the balloons and the core has been taken out. <laughs> Stumbling on my words here. The multi-inferno is left standing. No more balloons, no more spells, nothing in reserves. 
to take out the rest of the base. The final score will be 76% one star. The town hall is still standing. Next attack from Chicken Tika with the advantage in the war with another Zap Dragons. Singular Wizard working on the defenses. This air defense can get soloed by the wizard. As nothing can protect this air defense. Expo has been zapped out. Dragons will come in at 9 o'clock. Heroes all using base equipment, not leveled up. Singular wizard and a dragon working on the town hall. A one star is secured. Archer queen with two healers comes out. Inside the defensive CC comes out a witch and a dragon. Heal comes into the core of the base to protect the dragons. Warden ability has been used. The witches engages the, the dragon as skeletons from the witches trickle out towards the archer queen. The witch does go down finally. One air defense remaining, no spells, one baby dragon, the Tessa farm in the back end. And Super Warbreaker breaks the heroes into that multi infernal compartment. King still has ability. Tornado has been found by the dragons. A little too late as those dragons are still too healthy. The multi does go down. The air defense, the last thing that can stop the dragons in this attack, also goes down by the queen. Barbarian King uses his ability. Bomb has popped out and taken out most of the barbarians. However, that does not do anything as his base is crushed with the triple. Triple from Chicken Tika as the first round of, the, of this match seems to be in Chicken Tika's favor. I mean, VR Bro going in for name with a P.E.K.K.A. Smash. With four zaps. He's aiming to take out a Infernal Tower. He takes out the Infernal Tower. The Queen at 3 o'clock. Securing the Town Hall for the 1 star. Tesla Farm pops up outside of that multi Inferno. Queen will go towards that expo. King and the P.E.K.K.A. goes on the outside. Ice Golem, P.E.K.K.A.s, and the Bowlers coming in into that expo compartment. Jump has been placed down to give the smash access into the core of the base and that multi inferno tower. Rage goes out. Bowlers target the Multi Inferno. Multi Inferno does go down. Out comes the defensive CC. Outside the defensive CC comes out a hound and a balloon. The Pekka's march forwards. Warden Tome gets used to protect the Pekka's from the Archer Queen. Archer Queen goes down. Does not go down. Now the bowlers finish off the heal the Archer Queen. All the bowlers still alive. One Pekka remaining in the smash. Before the base is very gone. King and wizards working on the outside trash. A hog goes in. Five hogs for cleanup. The last bowler that was working on this expo goes down. One minute remaining and not much buildings left. Healer is getting taken in and out by the air defense.
screen still has ability. Equipment, all base equipment from VR Bro. Rest of the hog comes in at six o'clock with a lot of swag troops. A strong triple that's really needed for name. Fourth attack coming in with Chicken Tika with another Zap Dragons. All the attacks that we've seen so far from Chicken Tika are Zap Dragons. Saving out the 9 o'clock air defense and 3 o'clock air defense, heavily weakening the Queen. Hound will come in out the CC at 6 o'clock. Dragons behind the Hound. Going in from the Town Hall side to secure a 2 star. A lot of traps. 4 red air bombs has been found in the core of the base. Same with the tornado trap. Ego artillery now strikes the dragon as the dragon goes down. He has a heal and a rage to protect the dragons in the core of the base. Rage get used over the CC. Protecting the dragons from the Eagle Artillery shots. Eagle Artillery does go down. Queen working and the Queen working in at 12 o'clock. Queen does go to ability. Tesla Farm pops out at 12 o'clock. The ground bow cannot target the dragon. Goes down. Baby dragon on the outside to funnel the dragons further deeper into the base. Heal spell over the multi inferno. Sweeper stalking back the dragon. The sweeper goes down. The multi inferno also goes down. Two Teslas and one Archer Tower remain. Archer Tower goes down. Teslas going down. No more defense left. One swag freeze. A triple coming in from Chicken Tika. And the win for Chicken Tika is secured for War 1. Next. Fourth attack from name Sandrino using another Zap Lalo, slapping out the Expo. Very interesting base design. Red Air Mine has been found by one stray balloon. The Archer Tower does go down, saving the Baby Dragon for later. Never mind, the Baby Dragon will go down to the Air, air Defense. Barbarian King and Archer Queen goes at 6 o'clock. The Barbarian King will go into that air defense. Queen goes to ability. Taking out the Eagle Artillery. A jump has been used for the King to get into the core of the base. Out the C defending CC comes out a baby dragon and a bunch of super barbarians. The core, multi inferno, does go down. Now the Lalo starts in at six o'clock. Once again, having the town hall in the back end. Baby dragon now going from the archers that was protecting it in three o'clock, going towards the Lalo. Poison gets used. Baby Dragon being stalled up in the poison. Tornado Trap has been found in the core of the base. A bunch of red air bombs. Lol, the Grand Warden ability has been used. The Baby Dragon does go down. The Arch Queen also goes down. Haste used to get the Multi Inferno faster. One air defense remaining. No more hounds. Super Barbarians going across the base to help the Barbarian King take out those Skeleton Spell. One Balloon remaining. No more Balloons. Air Defense still standing. The Grand Warding does go down. This will not be a triple from Sandrino. Instead, if time permits, 
this will be a 2 star. The 5 minute mark, the last attack of Chicken Tika coming in onto the last base from Name. With Zap, Queen Charge, Electro Dragons. Slapping out the Expo and weakening the Queen. Electro Dragon on the outside. Chains to the air defense. More balloons and Electro Dragon coming in at the Rickbuff. One of the balloons find a Seeking Air Mine. Another Seeking Air Mine has been found. Rage been used. Home has been used. A defensive queen goes down outside the CC. Comes out a dragon and a witch. The chain, strong chains inside of the base, taking out all the defense's core of the base. Eagle artillery does go down. Multi inferno is left standing. King at six o'clock with the archer to to help chip away at the. Air defense. The archer does go down from the mortar. Last. Another air defense at 12 o'clock will be taken out by the queen. Electro type. Electro dragon will go down. Last air defense will go down from the electro titan. Electro titan. Electro dragon. Grand warden will go down and get stalled by air scaly. The Queen left standing, Barbarian King left standing. Queen still has healer, two defenses remaining from the Queen. From the base. Oh my god, I'm stumbling all my words here. This will be... Triple for Chicken Tika. A 14 star war. Last attack from name. Dark Clasher versus Death Raider. With another P.E.K.K.A. Smash. Horror Zap taking out a Multi-Inferno. He's delaying the last two Zaps. Missing the Archer Tower. Queen starts in at 3 o'clock. Balloon and a Hog to take out that Archer Tower. Tesla Farm pops out. Two Teslas at 9 o'clock. The other two Teslas may be hiding at 3 o'clock in this corner of the base. Wall breaks. Wall breaks into the queen compartment. King on the outside. And the equipments are all base equipments from Dark Clasher. Pekka on the army camp. The rest of the Pekkas going in with the bowlers and the warden. Ice Golem gets springed at the perfect timing to stop the CC and the Queen from doing anything. Jump has been used into the core of the base to allow access. He sees the defensive CC does go down. Four Expos in the core of the base hammering down the one P.E.K.K.A. Balloon finds a seeking air mine as P.E.K.K.A.s get wooden tomed and raged across into the core of the base. Core base now gone. All the troops in the core of the base is now splitting up. The king tanking for the wizard, taking out the perimeter defenses and buildings. A hole in the walls has been opened up by the Pekkas, as now the Pekkas taking out the defenses. One multi inferno remaining. Two Teslas pops out at three o'clock. The healers distracted on this one P.E.K.K.A. The P.E.K.K.A. does take out the Inferno Tower. Three P.E.K.K.A.s remaining. The Queen, distracted from the rest of the base, goes to ability. One P.E.K.K.A. goes down. Two P.E.K.K.A.s remaining with two healers. Another P.E.K.K.A. does go down. Cannon will go down. Queen still alive at 6 o'clock. 
time, 25 seconds remaining. This will be a close triple for Dark Clasher. Queen gets targeted by the cannon. The Queen Archer Queen does go down. This one now comes down to time. Never mind, this does not triple for Dark Clasher. A 97% two star. Ending the war with a four star deficit. First attack from Name coming in from VR Bro with another Pekka Smash for the first attack of the war. Stabbing out the Inferno Tower at 3 o'clock. The Queen will decide to go off towards 12 o'clock. With three super wall breakers. Breaks in the first layer of the base. This ego artillery compartment is open with a hole at the top. The expo. Not the expo, the air defense does go down. Another wall breaker breaks in towards the cannon. King on the outside. Hecka touches the spring trap. Bowlers comes in, coming in with a warden into the eagle compartment. Queen targets the wall. Out comes the CC is a hound. Nothing can target the hound so far in that Pekka smash. The wallbreaker does get give access to the core of the base. Rage goes up in the core. Healer goes down from a gray black air mine. Three black air mines get found by the balloons. Bowlers in the core of the base will start to die off. Warden ability a little too late as one P.E.K.K.A is remaining. Queen still stuck in the back on air skellies. The warden goes down, he has so many defenses remaining. Two star coming in for VR, bro. We don't have CC spilled, rip. Oh. DC? No, he didn't DC. Still has queen ability. If there's enough time, this can triple. But there's not enough time for the triple. Queen now stuck on the wall. Oh, Queen hitting the worst wall possible. Wait, this is this was really close. Oh no, 99% two star. First attack coming in from Chicken Tika with more Zap Dragons. Slapping out an air defense. Damaging up the bow. Taking out the last air defense. Having four Zaps. The bow does not go down with four Zaps. It needs five Zaps to go down. A dragon at 6 o'clock to take out that expo. As no defenses targeting air can take can cover this bow besides this archer tower, which will go down. Letting time wait. DC gets drawn out. A bunch of archers and two witches comes out of the CC. The ground expo does go down. Dragon gets targeted by a bunch of archers. Poison comes out. The dragon will stay up. This defensive CC will go down. Line of dragon at 3 o'clock goes in. 
with the Grand Warden. Eagle Artillery hits that one dragon. That one dragon's low HP. A skeleton army goes in for the heroes. These heroes will be long distracted by the skeletons for a while. Rage goes into the core of the base, protecting the dragons from the Eagle Artillery Strikes and the Multi Inferno. The Multi Inferno goes down. The Eagle also goes down. Two airbows in the back end with two Teslas. Air defense still alive. Air defense now goes down. Air defense goes down. A bunch of dragons with the heroes converges in at the top. Defensive queen alive still. Dragon stuck on the CC. Full HP. The queen engages the dragon. Heal spell goes out for the dragons. The archer queen does go down with the help of a freeze. Two balloons goes in for the archer tower as the archer tower is distracted by the dragon. The dragon goes down. The archer tower does go down. The Dragon stayed alive at 1 HP. The multi inferno burning up all the dragons. Archer Queen still has her ability. She pops her ability. Multi inferno goes down. Tesla goes down. Air mine pops out. Air skellies. More air skellies comes out. Minimal defenses remaining. No defenses remaining. Three buildings left, and a triple comes in from Chicken Tika. The lead from Chicken Tika will carry them to victory. Next attack from Name comes in Sandrino with Zap Lalo. Hello, Tide. Not looking good right now <laughs> for Sandrino and his team. Zap not used yet. King goes in at 6 o'clock. Queen also at 6 o'clock. The king does go into the exo compartment. The expo will go down. Wait. Expo does not go down. The Queen will secure the Town Hall for the one for a star. Queen walks away from the multi inferno. Steps back into the multi inferno. Will take that multi inferno down. The core single inferno has been taken out. Law starts in at three o'clock. Two poisons on standby for whatever comes out of that defensive CC. However, nothing comes out of the defensive CC. So now the poisons can be used onto the defensive Archer Queen to take her out. Poison 1 used. Skeleton spell not used yet. This warden needs to walk forwards to protect the most of the wounds. Oh no, a badly placed skeleton spell will lead to the Archer Queen being alive. Never mind the balloons! Striking the building kills the Queen as collateral. Grand Warden ability not needed in this attack. Triple coming in from Sandrino. And the first triple for the team in the second round. Next attack of the war from Chicken Tika onto Dark Clasher. With not a Zap Dragon this time, but instead Electro Dragon with Bats with the Queen Walk. Two healers for the Queen for her to take out the Multi Inferno. E Dragon is coming in at 9 o'clock. The Hound finds two Seeking Air Mines to tank for the Dragon. Out comes the CC, is a witch, a bunch of archers, and a baby dragon. The witch goes down, the CC goes down. The 
small time inferno does get taken out by the queen. The E Dragon getting a bunch of chains into the core of the base. Wait, we have seen this base before. Multi Inferno goes down with the Wizard Tower with the freeze. One Wizard Tower remaining. Take out the rest of the bats. However, it doesn't matter since so many E drags are still alive. Next attack from Name going in with Pekka Smash once again. The two sweepers kissing each other in the core of the base. Queen coming in at 1 o'clock. Stopping out the expo at 12. Queen goes to ability early. This would cause the attack to not triple. The queen will walk towards 6, 3 o'clock. Wondering how this will pan out in the rest of the attack without that queen ability. Pekka on the outside at 3. Wall breaks in to that bow. King on the outside to help keep the smash inside the base. All the bowlers get placed down. The CC comes out with more bowlers. All the balloons get placed down to find any seeking air mines. Poison gets used early. Jump not yet used, but instead letting the Pekas hit through the wall. Tornado trap has been found in the core of the base. Raged up balloons to take out that evil artillery. The jump now has been used to give access to the core of the base. Healers getting burned by the Maltai Inferno. Now out of range. The smash jumps into the core of the base. Queen gets into the core. The Barbarian King on the outside has been killed. Another rage has been used. Taking out the Kissing Sweepers. Sweepers does go down. Now engages the Barbarian King in the core. The queen will go down. The healers remaining is stuck on one P.E.K.K.A. He has 8 hog riders. Ready for cleanup in the back end of the base. Hog riders get placed down. To help take out the rest of the defenses. Wizards placed down to take out the trash. Taha still standing. Two, three defenses remaining. Expo goes down, mortar goes down. The cannon also goes down. He has a lot of time remaining, the Town Hall is still up. This will come in for a triple for name. Next attack from Chicken Tika. Death Raider on to Sandrino. With another Zap Dragons. So many Zap Dragons coming out from Chicken Tika in these two matches. Zapping out the AD and damaging the Queen. Takes out a Sweeper and damaging the Bow. Zapping out the, the second air defense. Two red air mines has been found on the core of the base. Dragons gets placed down to take out the multi inferno. One of the balloons catches one of the black air mines, which can help the dragons stay alive in the base. Outside comes the defensive CC, which is Two witches and a bunch of archers. Dragons are now splitting up into three ways. The top dragon engages the defensive CC. 
warden ability uses his tome to protect the dragons in the core of the base. Dragons now kills the rest of the witches. Eagle artillery does go down. The dragon goes down. One dragon goes down at the eagle artillery. This expo has been skipped by the bottom pack of the dragons. The queen and king still alive on the outside of the base. Both have ability. The queen now targets a wall to give access to the expo and the inferno tower. Trees get used onto the bow to protect the dragon. However, the dragon does go down. There's two dragons stop stacked on one top of each other right now. Three dragons remaining. Queen takes out the multi inferno. Two archer towers that can kill the dragons remain. Archer tower goes down. Two dragons left. Grand Warden now taking up the tanking for the dragon. Next attack from name from Dark Clasher. Coming in with another take a smash. Quaking out and zapping out the expo at the six o'clock compartment of the base. Not yet zapping the rest of the bow. The last the bow finally goes down. Queen walks towards three o'clock. Ice Golem gets placed. Barbarian King gets placed with two balloons. A Tesla pops out besides the Archer Tower. The rest of the Pekkas get placed down with all the bowlers. Access now into that multi inferno. You will now jump into the Eagle Artillery. Giving access to all three bows reachable from the Eagle Artillery. Inside the defensive CC comes out a Hound in a Balloon. A f the Ice Golem pops. Rage is not yet used for the Smash. Tornado Trap gets found next to the Archer Queen. Rage get used, Tome get used. Watch Queen goes down from the Pekkas. The Hound pops and comes out a lot of pops, which is now distracting the Archer Queen. More Hog comes in from the outside of the base to take out the defenses, flanking the smash. Air defense now targeting the healer. Pekkas breaks outside of the base. Queen stepping outside with the smash. However, the bullers inside the base stay inside the base, taking out that last air defense, which can kill the healers. Four hogs remaining. A lot of time. He's still left. This will end with a triple. For Dark Clasher. With one swag rage spell. Fourth attack, the second to last attack coming in for Chicken Tika. With a Pekka Smash. Diving out the Queen. Queen starts in at 12 o'clock. Wizard on the outside to help funnel. Is not being placed down until this air defense gets broken. Air defense does go down. Queen makes her way towards the Eagle Artillery. King on the outside. To help funnel with two witches. Pega. And Wallbreaker breaks into the Eagle Artillery compartment. 
only there was only one super wall breaker. The Pekka's and the bowlers split off. Bowlers now going back towards the Eagle Artillery. Eagle Artillery does go down. Jump gives the Pekka's access into the next compartment over. Queen now stuck on a wall as usual. The healers does not follow the bowlers but instead are stuck on the queen. Defensive CC comes out and up comes out our two witches. Queen finally destroyed the wall. Now targeting being that multi inferno. One rage remaining. Pekka's are low HP in the fourth base and in this bottom sector. Pekka goes down. The rest of the bowlers are still alive. However, they're all low HP. One giant bomb can end their career. Rage goes in for the queen. The queen can destroy the two last... last expos. Queen stuck on a wall once again. However, that wall will give her access to everything that's needed for the rest of the base. The multi inferno goes down. Spring takes out one hog. Queen still has the ability. One defense remaining, no defense remaining. A lot of time is left. Four buildings remain. And this will be a triple for Chicken Tika. Last attack for name going in with Zap Queen Walk Lalo. Slapping out that bow so then there's less. Oh no, that wizard gets taken out. Two minions get used for that mortar. So the queen will walk towards that single. The two healers get used onto the queen. No wall breakers. This flanking air defense could be a problem. I think he forgot the wall breakers. Because these healers are now useless. They'll get sniped out by the air defense. The CC comes out. A bunch of archers and a dragon. One hog goes in to snipe out that last air defense in that corner. Dragon does go down. The single inferno takes out that hog. Queen goes to ability, taking out the defensive queen. Lalo starting in at 12 o'clock, opposite of the town hall. Who's going for a triple or going for a one star? The hound goes in for the wrong air defense. Red air bomb has been found next to the archer tower. Haste been used to take out that air defense. Perfect wooden tome to protect the balloons from the eco artillery strikes. Eco artillery does go down. Heal spell gets used. The single inferno will go down. No air defenses remaining on the base. Only the Tesla farm and the expo is left to defend the base from the balloons. Expo does go down, the last defenses go down. The last attack for name will result in a triple. However, the first match did not go their way. So this they end the war with a total of 24 stars. Jeez. <laughs> they can 
They can swaggle attack and still win the series. Be nicer, don't be that rude. <laughs> Last attack from Chicken Tika to end this finals match of the Mortal Elevens League Season 2 with Golems and Bowlers. A spam attack. A very disrespectful attack. Rage get used for the bullers in the court base. The attack has three jumps to get the attack through the core of the base. Poison for the archers and dragon that came out of the CC. Another jump gets gives access for the bullers and golems into that multi inferno. This attack is looking really good so far. All the major defenses go down. Two minutes remaining on the clock. And the base is already mostly destroyed. How fast this attack can be. This is the, attack, the fastest attack of the war. The tornado trap gets found next to the now destroyed multi inferno. Queen goes to ability. Is now stuck on a wall. King also stuck on a wall. Which is on the outside with bowlers. The queen will go down. However, the king is still alive. A bunch of bowlers and witches are still alive. The final attack of the war came in with a golem bowler witch spam. <laughs> Tripling. <laughs> 